We're one week closer to Essen and I've got another list for you. Here are 10 hidden gems that I found coming to Essen. Now, honestly, two of these were hidden when I started this list, but have kind of blown up. So let's get into them. The first one is Cryptic Nature. This is like Baron Park meets Coimbra. And so uh, a lot of you seem to agree that this seems pretty cool. You have two different types of workers, one that's on the main board that's gonna move around the board, worker placement style. And then you have your personal board where you can go and relocate the cryptids that you keep into this kind of Baron Park Tetronimo style building spot um, that your assistants are gonna go for. Now, that one's at rank 95 on the total list. So that one's up there pretty high. It's gonna be pretty hot at Essen. That is about a medium weight game. I forgot to put that on there. The rest of these, I have that on there. Next up is Stevens. This is for the heavyweight Euro fans. This also has become popular. It seems to be, I think, the most popular heavyweight Euro uh, that you can actually buy. I think uh, Black Forest might be the other one, but uh, it's uh, not for sale as far as I understand. Um, this actually also got picked up by Capstone Games, so that'll be coming to North America, in fact. Uh, so it's obviously become more popular, but here you're a glassmaker in Portugal and it has this unique type of action selection uh, mechanic that I haven't learned a lot about, um, but I'm definitely keen to check this one out. People have already been rating it, so who even knows? Next up, we have got Terminus. This is from Inside Up Games. There are another Canadian here. This is actually also designed by Earl here in Toronto as well. This is an amazing game. I've had the chance to play it. If you haven't had the chance to play it, it's great. It has a rondelle up here at the top of your actions. You have very limited time to, to make kind of the best subway system you can. And the upgraded deluxe version is so pretty. You actually get a train car that sits on top of these little rails. It's so cute. Um, and then while you're also building out these rails, you also get some additional points if you manage to, uh, as you see here, there's different uh, kind of community zones here. If you build a building that matches that community zone and then you staff it, um, you're going to get some bonus points there. So that is a medium to heavyweight type of game. That's rank 145. Get that to check out. Now let's get into the really fine grained ones that we're going to jump quite a bit down the thing here. Here is Factory of Dreams. This is kind of like the just one party game. However, it's the opposite. So instead of you uh, erasing what you had shared, you actually want to share the words that you've got to make this collective dreamscape. Uh, and so you're going to be able to pick from these different areas here. So if you're a party game fan, this is definitely for you. That's rank 318, and that's a light party weight game. Farland, this is coming out of Thailand. This took me a while to watch the video with the automated translation uh, to figure out what was going on. This is also kind of a medium to medium heavy game. Got some cute artwork. It's a farming simulator, but kind of set in space. Uh, they describe it as an abstract puzzle game uh, with tile lane and resource management. I love all of those things. It's got a normal and advanced mode. What I thought was really cool here is that this board, uh, it's going to fold down the middle here. And so on the normal game, you're going to play with the bottom half of the board. And so you just fold the board. So you hide the stuff you can't play. I love it when either like a two player or a three player game, uh, the boards have specific sides so that you don't have to like hide things or block things um, and have it visually cluttered on the board. This is nice and clean. So that's Farland uh, coming from out of Thailand from Siam Games. Uh, that's rank 334. Next up is Galdero. If you've ever played Walking in Burano, this reminds me a lot of it. However, they've uh, gone a little bit more complicated with the uh, way you actually buy the tiles themselves. Uh, and this is from uh, TCG Factory. And so this creates this lovely little uh, tableau uh, at the end of the game. And you're going to get points if you manage to connect these telephone wires uh, and the clothes hangers. Uh, and so you're going to be buying and building these particular floors each turn. Um, now, I wonder if these are small size cards or large size cards. Um, that is a medium light game. Next up is Agent Avenue. I've actually had the chance to play this already. They sent me a print and play. This is my new favorite filler game. Uh, it's a I cut you choose plus a race uh, and a little bit of deception. So you have these and set collection. So you're introducing people to a lot of mechanics in a very small, simple and fast way. So you win by either having three code breakers. So this is your set collection mechanic here. So if you have one of this copy of this card, two of the copies of this card, three copies of this card, you're going to move this many spaces or for the code break, you're going to get this. If you get three of the daredevils, you also bust uh, and you and you fail up there cool part here is that on your turn, you're going to pick two cards. You're going to play one of them face up, one of them face down. Your opponent is going to select that card. It's primarily a two-player experience. However, it does have three and four-player team play. Uh, and I feel like if you bought two copies, you could actually do this uh, 
three on three and four on four. Um, so I'm going to have to check that out to see if I can uh, do another copy. Uh, and we'll be picking this up as well. Uh, so that's my new favorite filler game right now. Next up by Repos Productions is um, Fairy Ring. I'm actually quite surprised this doesn't have a lot of press right now, especially for a Repos game. Um, I thought it would have a lot more. It's got these cute little fairy mechanics here, and you're going to draft these mushroom uh, scapes here, and then you're going to compare the mushroom scape point uh, mechanism. So each one of them has a different scoring type for them, and then you're going to score points. It's a very simple drafting game, uh, very cute. Um, and so check that one out. That's a medium light game. Actually, I'd probably give it more on the light medium side. Next up, Amazonian Park. This is a new uh, Rainer Knizia game from Korea Games. Um, and so here you're trying to be a photographer across uh, the lovely spot of Amazon of the Amazon. It was actually featured on the front page of BGG. So I'm actually surprised that it's still ranking at 534 on the most kind of anticipated games. Uh, so this is Amazonia Park. We can give that a chance. Kind of a Next up is Lendomi. Uh, I've been speaking with these people as well. Uh, this seems pretty cool. It's got this radioactive dome that's going to go around. And as far as I know, you're going to play these cards to move these tiles around. And you can place out your cute little spaceships as well. And this is uh, and it's got this giant crystal as well. So it's got some cool components as well. Um, but this looks like a nice abstract tile movement game um, for control. Uh, that is rank 722 and it's weighted at medium. Oh, and I apparently have 11 on here because I can't count. So number 11, this one is also really cool. This is a 3D tile laying game where you're play, trying to create these vines and then these vines you're going to score by connecting these particular flowers all together. And this one, I believe, is coming out of Japan. Uh, so I love the games that are coming out of Japan, Korea, Thailand, all great stuff. This is a medium light game, rank 754. Those are what I've got for you this week. Tune in next week for another Essen video. Uh, I, we are going to still look at some of the hotness that's going to come up. And we still need to look at some of the stuff that you're going to want to buy if you're a Canadian. Um, and then, of course, we're going to get to Essen eventually. we still got three more weeks, I believe. Uh, so tune in next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow along, and we will see you next time. Make sure you grab one of these games. Oh, I really want to play Terminus again. Let's try that next week.